How you doing guys? This is Hybrid Steel. Welcome to Volcanidus, the Hydronia DLC that's now out. It's all good. Now today I'm here to talk to you about tiers. Now the reason why I'm here to talk to you about tiers and not like different styles of everything is because everything is now in a tiered system and that is the reason why you have to dig deeper and it's also the only reason why you can only get deeper for your drills. If that makes sense, it's all good. So I've done a video about the lava drills themselves, which are these little smeggers here. And as you can see, I've got two that are up here that are feeding just ice blocks, which is very strange considering that they get their drills. They can, they should be able to get dirt as well, the inside dirt sort of thing. Now, when you build stuff on top of here, on top of a plot of land, so on snow, let me grab a rake. Okay, let me just grab a rake and find a deeper plot of dirt. Right, there we are. So, tier system in this, as you can see, we're standing on a, a small section of snow, or ice, depending on which one you think it is. So, on top of it is this thin layer. Now, the reason why my drills over here are just basically spamming out ice blocks is because they are higher on, they're on top of the, they're basically on surface level snow. Which means all they're basically doing is drilling the, the snow, turning it into ice blocks. Now, that's why your water feeder is up here that feeds all your conveyor belts but if you come over to here you can see they're actually like drilling out blocks and snow most of the time they're bringing up unrefined ore which are the little stone things that are on the on the conveyor belts they are bringing up the occasional ice block but we are slamming these straight into a harvester so i'm not really worried about them so the top layer of all plots is literally a snow layer so you can get water so you can run your conveyor belts now, as you can see down here, this is all like tier one soil. You're looking for the color change. Now this is tier one and that is tier two, which is different. So if you can see the color change, then you're all good. Now, at the beginning of this game, you're stuck on tier one. You only get tier one tools. So that's why I have like the green stuff. These are tier one tools. I can only dig tier one snow and I've only got tier one tools, so I can rebuild them if I really want. And the lava drills themselves are not part of any tier. They are all tiers and none at the same time. Okay? So you can use them on any drill on, on any tier of dirt. Now, the only problem with the drills is they are limited by your tool set. So if you've only got tier one tools, this means you're going to dig down to tier one and you're going to set your drills up and you're going to convey them up or have a sorting plant down here. That's up to you. But at the end of the day, you can only dig your drills down to this depth and that's completely fine. You're limited by your tools. So when you've got tier two tools and this is starting to become a bit of a tongue twister because there's a lot of T's in this down to tier two, you can see the change in dirt. We've gone from like a slightly grayer blue down to almost like a purple, which is quite, you know, pretty cool. The ice is getting more compact down here. It becomes a bit more sort of like darker. So this is when you might need an actual torch, maybe, or a light or something. So yeah, this is where I had my tier two drills because my drills were now mining at tier two because I had the tool set for tier two. And then we go down even further. This is bedrock, basically. And this is tier three. Now, so you can see the difference in color, which is pretty cool. At the end of the day, you know where you are by if it's like really light or it's turning gray blue or it is turning purple. And then you're down into like the serious stuff at the bottom. So you are limited only by your tools. So if you only have tier two tools, then you can only dig to tier two snow. If you get to tier three, you can dig all the way to the bottom. And that's how the tier system works in this game. It actually makes it more simple. Considering in the original game, base game of Bastion, we were basically stuck on like, you had a tier one drill, so you can only tier, dig tier one dirt, tier two drill, tier three drill, and you were stuck on certain specific amounts of dirt. Now, with the drills being basically, I don't know, generalized, I'm gonna say, being that they're now in like a general category where they're only limited by your tool set, that means they're more free. That means you can put them wherever you like and you can build multi layers of all these things without going overboard when it comes to having to buy too much stuff. So you could have a drill at tier one like I have right at the top where I've got my ice being made just by the drills and my other drills are down here basically feeding out the highest amount of all they can. 
and that's why I've got them like conveyor belted all the way to the top because they're feeding from the bottom they get the more they get the most amount of stuff now those drills are now regulated by their actual buffs and I will talk about them in another video but it now does come down to your tool set is your limiter so for me if I'm gonna my piece of advice would be to unlock the stores as quickly as possible so you want to get the tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 stores in the sh in the town you want to unlock those tools as quickly as possible now the best way to do it i actually did a video on this is by i i unlocked all the uh, dinosaur bones in the museum so i was able to get a token reward the token reward is 9100 tokens so guild uh, their scout tokens so when you've got like, 9000 scout tokens you go to the shops you've already unlocked and then you can basically get tier 3 tools getting you to the bottom of any plot faster means you're going to get more money and money is um, is what you're after in this game. That's basically it. Now I have got to extend out my build for a bit. But at the same time I'm still doing all these videos. So join me in another video or a live stream. Because at the end of the day I will be doing everything for this. So thank you very much for coming by. If you have any questions down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've got any questions at all about the game. Let me know. I'll see if I can answer them straight up. Until then I'm going to say peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. And um, happy mining. A boom! This bump to you.